Hello World. And I'm here again because of one reason and one reason only. And his name is Cameron Jackson. See, for months, Cameron Jackson put little videos on his channel calling me out. And then earlier last week, when we planned to put up a KBW video, he wants to get on there and call me out again. And then when I finally try to downplay everything, try to explain myself, try to explain why he's not worth my time, he wants to come back with another video called KBW Wake Up Call. Go check it out. And in this video, he calls other backyard wrestlers from around this community that he calls it. Trying to figure out why Cage wouldn't accept his challenge. And then at the end, he gets off the phone with Big Time Mike. A guy that I gave a giant opportunity to in the start of his career. And then he proceeds to talk about my family for about three minutes before he actually gets to a point. And his point was that he was kicking me out of this so-called community. That if I didn't accept his challenge, then I have no reason to come back and do what he does. And I really... I started laughing because it was it was funny. It was entertaining. It was a joke what he was saying. Now let me explain myself when I say it was a joke. Because he wants to kick me out of his community and he somehow thinks he has the authority to do that. And when he says his community, let me explain something to you. These backyard wrestling companies have got together. And they've done these big crossover shows. Shows like UWE, which was his first home country, his first home company. Places like VTW, which his buddy Drew Hood is from. Places like APW in Pennsylvania, which I've went up to before, which they are no longer active. Big Time Mike represented KBW in the start of all this. And they would go around and have these big shows. And talk about how this is one big giant community. And now he somehow thinks he can kick me out when I'm the man who basically started this community. Hell, who basically started this whole revolution of backyard wrestling on YouTube. Because before me and before KBW, nobody had reached the heights in backyard wrestling that we have. And they never they they may never do it again. See, Cam, let's talk about this community for a second. Drew Hood, back years and years ago, messaged me on the KBW channel. And he said, hey, man, I work for this company called CCW in North Carolina. And, man, could you check us out? Could you look at, could you tell you, tell your buddies about us? Could you see and, and, and tell us how we could be better, please? And out of the kindness of my heart, I watched, and while it wasn't great, it was nowhere near KBW standards. I said he had potential, and I promoted him on my channel, trying to get more eyes to him, because like I said, I saw potential. A couple other companies that are no longer active, called PCW, and then Myron Reed's BEW, I did the same thing for them, and that was the original community. CCW, PCW, a little bit of APW, which was then known as HBTW. I'm throwing companies that a lot of you probably have never heard of because they're nowhere near the standards of KBW. But I saw potential, and I helped try and build those companies up. Big time Mike came to me and said, Hey, man, uh, I saw that backyard wrestling thing you were doing, and I really like it, and I would love an opportunity to come out. And so I let him. And he became a big star. You can't deny talent. That's what I'm. A, that's my biggest point. You can't deny talent. But when some people get a big head, they screw it up for themselves. And even you, Cameron Jackson, even you, you messaged AK-47 and said, Hey, man, we saw what y'all did with KBW. Can you please check us out? Please tell us. Me and AK talked about it. He's like, he's not great. But like I said, I see some potential. But that's all you guys have ever been. It's potential. 
See, KBW is the measuring stick in backyard wrestling. That's where everybody wants to be. And while we're way up here, you people are just struggling to get here. See, Cam, if I wouldn't have put all these pieces together and promoted people, y'all wouldn't have made those connections. When CCW figured out that Drew Hood was full of crap, they kicked his behind out of the promotion, and then he went to VTW to help and take that publicity that I gave him and build them up. Luckily, there's some actually decent, awesome guys in VTW to keep that company afloat. See, Cam, you can't kick me out of a community that you have no authority over. I liked your little phone calls. I see your mindset. You think you're doing this for all those guys. For all those guys because Cage turned his back on backyard wrestling. No. Cage conquered backyard wrestling. And now he's taking his heights even higher. Setting his sights on something bigger. But you want to try to drag me down. You don't want to see me go. You want to try to squeeze every little publicity out of Cage that you possibly can. And you think, oh, well, you're getting a piece of the pie. You might as well break some off for your little buddies. Here's the funny thing, Cam. Besides maybe Drew Hood and Big Time Mike, all those guys you called, all those guys you considered your friends, if I call them and offer them a spot on KBW and offer them a chance to put a highlight video up or a promo up promoting themselves, but I said, as long as you never speak to Cameron Jackson again, how many of those guys would take it, Cam? How many of those guys would turn their back on you just like that? for an opportunity that I can give them. And like I said, maybe Big Time Mike and Drew Hood would stay loyal to you, but yo, you three kiss each other's ass so much, you look like a goddamn human centipede. So that's a whole different story. So, Cam, I kept hearing them mention this little show, this little event called Best in the Yard. Best in the Yard. For two years, all these companies all around the United States meet up in North Carolina at VTW's arena and have a show called Best in the Yard. This is the third year in a row, and Big Time Mike is the only KBW representative to ever step in that. And the only reason that I haven't come to one of those shows is because I haven't been invited. And you know why I haven't been invited? First of all, I don't need that for one. I've never needed to go because I can have a show and call it worse than the yard and it would still get more views and more publicity than their little shows. Let me put it to you just like that because my name is bigger than all of their names on a show combined and that's just the God honest truth. I'm not trying to hate, I'm just being real. Because I worked my ass off to build a name like this. Best in the yard. Well, for two years, this show have not has not lived up to its name. Because how can you have a show called Best in the Yard without the very best to ever do it? So, Cam, I'm going to tell you just like this. You want to match it Best in the Yard, we do this on my terms. I'm making the rules. This is going to be a regular wrestling match because I'm not going to give you any opportunity to use weapons or use your little shortcuts and try to get one over on me. I made that mistake with Corey Graves and I will not make that mistake with you. I promise you I'm going to out wrestle you and I'm going to beat the living hell out of you. Cam you finally got what you wanted but I'm not doing this for you because besides the little guys in your videos there's actual guys at Best in the Yard that deserve to have eyes on them. Guys like Dirty DeChico. Guys like Zach Daniels. Guys like Rick Rios. Guys like Dustin Reagan who worked their ass off and actually put on some amazing matches. And there's an, another group of guys, but those four I really have a giant admiration and respect for. And they have the same for me. Those guys deserve to be seen. And other guys on that card, not you, Cam. Let's be honest. You're just trying to get publicity out of me. You're just jealous of me. I heard Big Time Mike say in the phone call that if the roles were reversed and if I was in your shoes, I would take these shots and, and challenge you and call you out. Well, here's the biggest 
the biggest thing wrong with what Big Time Mike said. I have never been in your shoes. And you will never be in mine. Because when it comes to this business, these shoes have walked farther in backyard wrestling and in pro wrestling. Farther than you and Big Time Mike and Drew Hood and all you guys in your little video shoes have combined. You will never reach the success as me. You will never reach the heights that I've reached. And I'm going to show you exactly why I've reached those heights. I'm going to show you exactly why I've been this successful. I'm going to show you exactly why all these people subscribe and view and watch me. Cameron Jackson versus Cage. Best in the yard three. You get what you want. But I swear to God. I'm going to beat the living shit out of you, Cameron Jackson. Simple as this. Best in the Yard is finally going to live up to the title of the show. Because the very best is going to show up. He's going to show out. He's going to shock the world. And he's going to whoop your ass. And I'm finally going to give all these viewers a reason to check out these other guys. Hopefully, they watch my match, enjoy the ass whooping you're going to beat, and then stick around and see some amazing talent do some amazing things. So now it's on you, Cameron Jackson. You get what you want. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do? That's my question, Cam. Are you truly ready for what you've gotten yourself into? Do you truly understand the magnitude of what's about to happen? I'm the master of the DDTs, the master of execution, the master of whatever else you want to call me. And we're doing this in a ring. But if we're doing this in a backyard, and this is called Best in the Yard, and there's no reason for this. You're going to get Cage. You're not going to get the mask guy. You're not going to get anybody else. You're going to get the best to ever do it, Cam. Are you ready? You better get ready.